Well, welcome back. There is a new interactive pop-up art gallery that will give your social media pictures a cool new modern look. Oh, sounds good to me. Reporter Joe Sam is meeting with the creators of the 3D art gallery right now to see how they are making <laughs> these works of art come to life. Joe, wow, it looks like you got that, that wave down. down yeah. Pat. The king has made it to town. We've made it to the city, and we've made it here to this 3D art gallery, which is really cool for a lot of people because not only is it interactive, but they're mixing in modern pop culture with the history element of those as well. So let's get some more information about that. I'm going to step out of my throne really quickly. You're looking at some amazing local artists that we have here, and we are talking to one of the creators here of the 3D art gallery, Miss Yuloma. We want to learn all about what you guys have to offer. So we were just sitting down in the throne. It's not my throne. It's actually the throne of these two amazing young gentlemen. Tell us a little bit about what you guys have here. All right. So this exhibit right here is called the H-Town Kings. Now, this pays a homage to um, DJ Screw and Pimp C, who are like Houston hip-hop royalty. Wow. And we can already see how they're dressed in that royalty, too. I have an outfit like that in my closet. Are you sure? Yes. I'm going to have to pull that out for you guys. And as we talk a little bit more about what you guys have here, when we talk about those social elements, who do we have over here? Who is this young lady? Oh, man. So this one is Britney Spears. Now, this is an, an inspired picture by the classic tale of Rapunzel. So it's let your hair down. And this is that iconic moment when Britney Spears let her hair down. Yes, and you know what? I don't have any hair to let down. But you know what? We're going to put some hair on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? Is that a good look? Yes, love it. Now I can finally whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> and this is something really cool that people can play around with. Like I said, it's interactive and it really gives the story in the background you guys have the stories of each one of those paintings written down here so people can not only take those pictures and enjoy the art but they can read about how it's incorporating the history into it as well right absolutely absolutely so we have informationals by every single piece that we have here and it also tells what local Houston artists painted the painting as well absolutely so let's move a little bit further down because we have Miss Frida here oh God. you can't get past the eyebrows we know exactly who that is but you put a spin on Miss Frida too. Talk about the spin that you put on her. Absolutely. So this painting was inspired by Frida Kahlo and her just being a strong woman. Her life was amazing and she lived it to the fullest of her potential. So we have some phrases here that signify Houston. H-Town strong, think positive, just about Houston pride. Yeah, and I was taking some pictures earlier when I came here. I had some fun. Not only we talk about the Houston pride, we had Beyonce, the Queen Bee here. So we took those pictures with Beyonce. There was even one with that money coming on down Absolutely. too. Isn't that fun? It was so much fun. I love that one too. <laughs> and a lot of people are going to love the fact that they are focusing on social distancing and COVID-19. You even have a painting here that incorporates that social distancing with the Statue of Liberty holding up a bottle of hand sanitizer. Isn't that right? Yes. So here, the artist actually made some resin to drip down, and we put it by the drain, so it signifies hand sanitizer coming out. So people can pretend like, oh, let me get some hand sanitizer. <laughs> and we took pictures with that, too, and the toilet paper. I think you guys maybe need to incorporate some toilet paper interactive stuff, oh, too, wow. if you can find some. Okay. Okay. Noted. <laughs> Yes. Well, let's walk a little bit more, too, because not only is this just a sweet gallery to be in and to check out, but we finish up with the sweet treat by letting them eat cake. And who doesn't love to eat some cake? <laughs> so this room is called the Cake Room, and it is inspired by Marie Antoinette. So Marie Antoinette was a very opulent queen back in her times. So this is just based off of opulence and the rumored uh, phrase that she said, let them eat cake. Yeah, and talk about the different artists that we have up here. Is that Miss Paris that I'm looking at? Absolutely. So we depicted Paris as Marie Antoinette because Paris at one point was the iconic figure of wealth in the United States. And then we have Rihanna on the side. Oh, we love Riri. Yes, we Under do. my umbrella, Ella. But we, you better <laughs> sing it now. <laughs> so we have Rihanna up here as well because she is also a queen, right? Absolutely. And Rihanna is actually the highest paid female artist of, the time, of this time right now. Mm -hmm. And then we have Jeff Bezos, who is the richest person in the world right now. So they signify opulence in a way. So we tied it all in into the let them eat cake. Theme. And when we talk about eating cake, you guys, all of this that you see here on the table, 
feels like actual. If we go ahead and touch Absolutely. this here, you can see how squishy that is. It makes it feel like it's real dessert. And I'm gonna go ahead and let my mask down a little bit because if you take this and sniff it, it smells like a cupcake too. And be, me being that I haven't eaten <laughs> lunch yet, I just wanna dive right on to this. But it really gives you the theme of being interactive and having fun with all of what you see here, taking those social media pictures. I can already see a lot of people having fun doing this. Tell us how long it's gonna be lasting because I know it's a pop-up gallery. Yes, yeah, so our pop-up gallery is open until October 4th, okay? And how can people get more information for tickets or times to come and check you out? Okay, you can go ahead and get your ticket at www.the3dgallery.com. And that gallery is spelled G-A-L-E-R-I-E. -E. It's a little twist on the French spelling of gallery. Our Instagram is the same as well, 3D Gallery. That's perfect, perfect. So you know what? I'm going to come back down here, Courtney and Derek, and we're going to get ready to send things back to you as I take some more social media pictures with this Let Me Eating Cake. I Let love it, Joe. Cake. I know. It's awesome. <laughs> Thanks Very for the nice. preview. <laughs> okay. Have fun out there. It looks like he already is.